I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. I was trying to I was trying to cry on camera and I couldn't do it. Oh, it was almost there. There's a little bit right there, but it just doesn't want to dribble down. I thought I could do it, but I couldn't. Hello everyone, welcome back to another movie review, and this time I've watched Black Bear, the newest Abu Plaza movie, another indie drama slash meta commentary on filmmaking, and it's directed by Lawrence Michael Levine, and it stars, of course, Aubrey Plaza, but also Sarah Gadon and Christopher Abbott and a few other people. Aubrey Plaza's character is visiting this cabin or lake house, and she is a filmmaker, and she's trying to get inspiration for her next movie, and there is a couple there, and then things go haywire. <laughs> Aubrey Plaza is the main force of this movie, and oh my god, she is amazing. So at first, you think it's going to be your normal Aubrey Plaza that you've seen in other movies, where she's kind of dry-witted, and her humor is very hard to gauge, but you know it's humor because Aubrey Plaza, that's what she's built her reputation on a little bit, but that's just who she is as a person too, so it's a really good easy way for her to tap into that, but it goes beyond that and it shows her acting range and it's just amazing to watch. And not only is Aubrey great, but so is Sarah Gadon and Christopher Abbott. The, all three of them, the way they act together, it's just like such good chemistry. Well, Sarah Gadon and Christopher Abbott are a couple, and they're, you know, as with all movies, there must be tension and there must be drama, and the two and the couple is like arguing and fighting as Aubrey Plaza's character, Allison, is there just trying to think of, <laughs> just trying to think of ideas. The movie's called Black Bear, but I don't think this is much of a spoiler, but a bear comes into play at some point, and something happens with the bear. <laughs> but that's all I can say about it. And what it says about filmmaking and the egos that are needed in filmmaking and art and all this, or the perception of these egos, it takes it and it just like plays with that. Because we know about Stanley Kubrick and how he'd play mind games with people, but certain people only, and he would just like terrorize them and he was awful human being. You see sort of glimpses of that, but you also see like the other side of it where it's like the emotional toll of like acting and also acting with someone you love. And so there's a lot of things playing right here and it's playing around with like a lot of subtext, a lot of meta filmmaking. And so of course a film critic, I wouldn't call myself a film critic. I'm just an idiot who talks about movies on YouTube, <laughs> but film critics and filmmakers and creative types and artists will appreciate the meta commentary that's being done in Black Bear and it's just a joy to watch. Even people who aren't like obsessed with like filmmaking as me and other people are is like well I think they will enjoy the story because it's like everyone everyone tells stories. Everyone is creative. You know you may not have a creative brain but you can tell a story and so there's things about telling stories here that are just very fun to watch. And now I'm going to spoil it for you a little bit. Leave now if you haven't watched it and you plan on watching, or skip over to the rating. This movie is split into two parts, and it is two different movies, as the, as the reviews have been saying. And the first part is this very intense argument between the couple and Aubrey Plaza's character. And this is not like your typical, like, argument argument this is like they're talking about some real stuff that is in the real world and I'm not spoiling it for you because you know I know this is the spoiler territory but in case you've clicked through this and you don't and you want to have that preserved I'm preserving it for you you can thank me later and it's crazy and insane and the things that happen afterwards are even more insane and then we get to the second part and it's a movie being made and you know, it threw me for a loop for a second, but I knew I had a feeling it was going to happen. And so it happens. And then they sort of just like flip the script on you and everything is going differently, but in the same way. And it's just amazing. This is the part where Abby Plaza's acting is like a tour de force and just beautiful and great. And I loved it. And yeah, I'm not spoiling the actual story for you. I'm just spoiling the setups. 
And yeah, I would give this movie 9 out of 10 tears coming out of my eye, which never came out. I tried. I'm sorry I failed to produce a tear. I'll try again next time. Aubrey Plaza is great. Lawrence Michael Levine is great as a director. Sarah Gadon, Christopher Abbott, everyone in this movie nailed it, crushed it. Oh man, it's so good to finally see great movies coming out in 2020. There's been so many canceled or moved or delayed. I'm just watching all the good movies finally. I'm sure there'll be some stinkers out there, but there'll be a lot of gooders too. <laughs>